Hello, good afternoon. It is um, Thursday, March 2nd, and I am really excited about everything that's coming up tomorrow, the next week, and in March. It's good to be back in the studio in this space and to start creating again, and more importantly, to start sharing again with all of you. So I just wanted to give you, I know I've been throwing a lot of things. You've probably been seeing a lot of posts coming at you from me. I've been tagging everyone trying to make sure people don't miss out on these announcements because um, I'm raring to go and I'm raring to share. But I just wanted to give you a quick sense of what you might expect tomorrow. Um, so I'm doing a YouTube Live after ages. It'll be fun to have you uh, be part of it and we'll do um, some kind of transformations. I'm calling it the Ugly Duckling Celebration and I bet a lot of you uh, can relate to that because who hasn't created something that they think is ugly? I keep doing that all the time, <laughs> every single day. So I um, wanted to take some time tomorrow to share with you my brier sheets and other things that I keep hoarding because I refuse to throw away anything at all. And I wanted to make sure that you are able to get insights into my process and see how I transform and give you some ideas. You know, I always encourage not buying new things, but using what you have. And so I will share a lot of alternative uh, means of transforming things that you might ordinarily discard, uh, that you're not in love with necessarily, that you might think belongs in, you know, the abyss of a drawer that's never going to be opened or the trash can. So hopefully you'll Something will resonate. You'll have the supplies to be able to do some of those things. Uh, you'll get new ideas. Maybe we can even share some ideas on how you've um, attempted to recover some of your creations or collaged them in a way that make more sense and look uh, more meaningful to you. Because really, ugly and beauty, I mean, both of those are very, very subjective. Uh, what might seem ugly to you might seem really, really beautiful to someone else. And so on and so forth. So I'm going to switch the camera here for a second and um, here's my pile of stuff that I am going to use tomorrow. This is, you know, I don't, again, these are probably some pieces you've seen me create on lives where I was exploring some different mediums and as is, it does nothing for me. How do I transform this into something? So this is actually a very good start. This by itself, it has marks on it. It has some sheen on it from spray paints. It has some stenciling already on it. There's a lot going for it already. Also for this one, probably done in the same session when I was testing out uh, Tim Holtz's uh, spray paints, the metallic ones. And you can see I've die cut, or actually I uh, used a puncher to cut some maple leaves from this one. So again, you know, you can take a bigger piece that doesn't work for you and make it into smaller pieces that do work for you. A tag that I probably just used as a brayer sheet to wipe off excess paint on. It's, you know, going somewhere, don't know where yet, but it's in my pile of discards for now. Um, some kind of paper that I created with Mod Podge. And uh, again, this is just brayer sheets. A zine that I was making at some point with finger painting, um, half done. Again, I think this is the visual I had used, but you know, by itself, it's nothing. But if you transform that into a zine and you start working on each page, it can turn into something beautiful and more meaningful. This is an embossing folder run through, I think, of, again, brayer sheets, lots and lots of brayer sheets. Another embossing folder run through. Um, this one just has a bunch of, I think this is like a card front with a bunch of uh, die cuts from gel plate, printed paper, coffee filter that I did some stuff on. Um, this is, again, something that I've already stitched, and these are discarded sheets into, and I started doing it, but then never got around to finishing it. But again, I'll be sharing a lot of it. You know, you can you can turn something like this into something like this and then take it a step farther and then turn this into something like this. So that's kind of where my head is, what I am thinking tomorrow's workshop could show you the various steps. It might not look like a start to finish project, but there will be a lot of conversation around negative space, how you can use your white acrylic paint, you can use your gel plate, you can use your stencils to create various different kinds of pieces that you can then collage on and turn into mixed media pieces. Not promising any finished products tomorrow because it's just an hour, there's gonna be a lot to cover. 
I don't want you to start creating anything. I just want you to dig through your stash and just collect stuff like this, you know, like this. What do you do with this? I don't throw this. This is, again, excess paint from the brayering while doing gel plate printing or something like this where I just felt like spreading some paint and journaling over it and now I just have this sheet of paper or this one where I was just doing brush marks and by itself it's very busy don't know what to do with it but maybe as a smaller piece maybe turned into gratitude tags maybe done something with the gel plate print it might transform into something else gel plate prints that are these are ghost prints that are absolutely beautiful but what do you do with them where do you take these how do you use them in a journal or a tag or a card uh, these are crystal powders that i was playing with and i put a leaf on that to see what that would look like again there's a lot of stuff that i have this is a very very small vignette of things that are sitting in drawers and i bet you have tons of them too and what we the goal ultimate goal is to take something like this turn it into something like this or something like this and then take it a step further and make it into something that has a message that can be handed out that can be tucked into your mixed media journal or something that you can then transform into a piece like this one where you know you can have a whole stash of things that are created from just these discards stuck together and turned into something that is more meaningful that feels beautiful and you know what feels beautiful comes from the process it doesn't come from how it looks because this might not look beautiful but the process of transformation that this went through is what makes it beautiful the messaging that you then attach to it the value that you then attach to it because of the process that you yourself went through to create this thing makes it meaningful, makes it beautiful. And that's what I'm hoping we can get from this live demo tomorrow. So I hope this gives you a sense of a little bit of an idea of where I'm kind of heading um, tomorrow. You could also turn a lot of these into these zines. It doesn't have to be a reversible zine, but as soon as you start adding vignettes and turning these big sheets of paper that look like nothing and fold them up or cut them up you start ideating differently you start creating differently you can even take these envelopes now these might look finished to you these might look too busy to other people you know but it's what brings you joy like this doesn't make me happy but at the point that i was doing it i felt like it was done right now it doesn't feel like it's done i feel like this could have another layer for it to feel joyful to me so collect the pieces that you have and, you know, have maybe four or five different kinds of papers that you've decided are, are no good or kind of uh, in an in-between stage, you don't know what to do with them. And this is, I have a collection of different kinds of papers before uh, anybody asks. This is rice paper, this is watercolor paper, this is cardstock, this is just copy paper. So just, it does not matter what your substrate is. It doesn't matter because ultimately um, it's gonna turn into something completely different. So um, yeah, so this is just a preview. And uh, if you have any questions, comment over here. Let me know if you feel like you need to be more prepared, which I'm never prepared. I'll just kind of be here and I'll be picking stuff off of my table. I have some colored pencils here. I have crayons here. I have my distress crayons, I have gold marker, my acrylic markers, I have my paint wall over there. Most likely I'll not be using any of those acrylic paints. Most likely I'll just be using white. You can also use white gesso or black gesso. So don't stress. That's the one thing I want to lay import on is that please don't stress about this workshop. Please don't feel like you have to prepare for it. Please don't feel like you have to have certain things on hand. Um, just want you to show up and watch. You don't even have to do anything with me at the same time as me. You can just like sit back, relax, watch, get some cool ideas about what you can do with your discards and turn them into something else. So the live, the YouTube live is tomorrow, Friday, March 3rd at noon. And I will probably only be able to do it for an hour because I do have a life outside of being Monty Mix. Um, 
So yeah, it's gonna be an hour, noon to one. You might see some interruptions from the little puppy. He's sleeping right now over here. He is my constant assistant in the studio. Uh, so we'll just kind of see how that goes, but um, I'm just kind of giving you a heads up. And uh, I would love to see the befores and afters. If you do intend to do something tomorrow with me, alongside with me, or if you plan on doing it later, I would love for you to take a photo of the before and then take a photo of the after. And if you feel so inclined to share them on this group uh, in Mansi Makes With You, I would love to see that. Not so much as a, wow, this is transformative, but more of as a, as a nod, as an acknowledgement to you for having the courage to do this. And you know, the stakes are really low because this stuff was already headed to the recycling bin. This stuff was already headed inside a drawer. So you're not going to be ruining anything. It's already kind of not there or ruined or amiss. So you're not, the stakes are really, really low for this. So I don't want you worrying about making it even messier or ruining anything. It's, it's, you're just, we're just gonna see how the process evolves and where it takes us. Okay, so let me know if you have any questions. I'm really pumped about this. I'm really, really, really excited about doing a YouTube Live. It's been forever and I've missed it. So I'm looking forward to seeing whoever can make it tomorrow. If you're not able to make it, I'll make sure to record the video and upload it and send you a link so that you have access to see it whenever you're able to and play whenever you're able to. So have a wonderful evening and I will hopefully see many of you tomorrow in uh, the YouTube Live, Friday, March 3rd noon to one, that specific time, I'm in the Bay Area. So use your time conversion to see what time it is for you. But hope to see you all there. Bye.